A very good morning to you all. We're doing a quick training session on LinkedIn and we're going to show you how to find candidates that are open to new opportunities, open to new work. And we're going to do this very simply by using the search tool on LinkedIn. We can find specific candidates if we want, but I'll show you very quickly what to do. So a popular hashtag, start with open to work. Now this will bring up probably a certain amount of candidates and you can filter to people and then you can obviously filter to location. So I'm gonna to go to the UK and we're gonna have a little look at these candidates. A few of them that are open to new opportunities. See if any of them are good. Now the basics of it is uh, we're trying to find candidates that are, you know, we can actually speak to, maybe throw out a few connections. This guy looks pretty, pretty decent. He was a consultant before. And we've got Mark, who was HSBC Head of Talent Act. So I'll connect with him. Send a note. If he connects, send him a voice note and just say, look, we might have opportunities. And then you're going to find a, a position for him. I'll put a video on the top right exactly how to do that. So you can watch that if you don't know how to spec in a candidate. But this is more of a headhunting consultative role. Now, starting with the candidate first is probably one of the better ways to actually get started. So she's a HR manager, a very good placement to make. So you would just connect. You can send a, a note if you want. Now, how do we get more specific? Because we only pulled up 943 results. So I would type in open to work. There are other variations, open to new opportunities, open to opportunities, etc. So open to work is flagged up that amount. Yeah. And again, we can filter by sectors. So professional sectors as an industry etc i would tend not to use that so for example we might type in accountant or a specific job title and then the results come up so these are in theory uh, people and be very careful with some of these they will be um, or typically can be out of the country um, or they don't have work visas so this is a company that has worked pwc so this might be a work visa, so there might be issues on that. So screen your candidates well in that regards. But this candidate is open to new opportunities, an accountant. They're typically more active um, on LinkedIn. This is why this technique works pretty well. And again, there are other variations, open to new opportunities, open to work. So open to new opportunities. Oh God, a search job. Let me go back. Open to opportunities. And again, we're gonna search people and see what comes up. So we've got more results here, but we're gonna put the speech marks. So it picks up that entire phrase. So again, we've got, let's search England, United Kingdom. And we've got, you can obviously search by specific locations again. Let's see if it brings up any different results for, I don't know, a nurse. God forbid a nurse is open to new opportunities in the UK. And funny enough, there is. So, again, we're going to look at these profiles. And we're going to see. Now, Natalia, Natalia doesn't look too active on LinkedIn. Her profile looks good, but she's not too active. Again, we're going to connect and once these connections come in then you can address it accordingly on that and that's probably the best way to go about it in my opinion so you're looking at nurse profiles whatever you want to search search but this is a good way to get started building up your profile with like-minded candidates in your sector or if you just want to explore a sector and see okay great now avoid these ones with four connections it looks like they've just made an account they probably haven't been active since they made it this profile looks really good in terms of professional photo, she likes, she's wrote a lot about her experience. I'm open to new opportunities in healthcare management. So that could be a good one. She basically told you, look, if you've got a healthcare management role for me, or you can find one, I'll definitely give you the time of day uh, with that. And she's got good experience as well in terms of, you know, out of the country, but still experience, experience and NHS experience. She's keeping up to date. She's doing improvement in her academia. So this is something that I, a candidate that I'm really, really, you know, hoping comes back to me and then I can have a conversation with. So I hope you found this video useful. Go ahead, do the searches and see what comes back.